episode 343 of Apartment Hacker. This is Mike Burnett, Apartment Hacker. It is my mission to tease out human potential in the multifamily space. So we're on to the second mantra in the seven mantras that would help scale up excellence in your business. And that second mantra is engage all of your senses or a consumer's experience, uh, or I'm sorry, senses in the experience that you're trying to create for them to uh, buy in. Or creating a culture within your organization that people will buy into. So let's talk about seeing what we make observation of. I think it's really important when you're interacting with a consumer, you're interacting with an employee that you look people in the eye. Um, the tone of your voice matters, the choice of words matters. All of those things matter in terms of a consumer interaction or an employee interaction or vendor interaction or even interactions with your own self-talk. Let's talk about seeing specifically um, in the sense that when you're speaking with someone, it's, it's wise to look them in the eyes. It's wise to, not, not with a steely-eyed glare, but to look into their eyes uh, with the same sort of intensity that you would use in your voice. So if the intonation comes up, then you're looking a little more. If it comes down, you might look away, and then you look back. But it's important to look people in the eye when you're talking to them. Don't look over here and talk away from them or talk down here or talk over here. Look them in the eyes when you talk to them. It's important, even though it might seem irrelevant. It's very important. Uh, second thing, hearing. There was an interesting experiment done. Uh, the story they talked about in this book is that a wine store played French music uh, one day and the, uh, the purchase of French wine went up five times, 5x, just by playing French music in the store. They switched gears and played a little German music. The uh, sale of German wine went up two times when they were playing that kind of music in the, uh, in the store. It's germane to the multifamily space in the sense that we've all heard this before. Play music in the model. Play music in your clubhouse. Now, you have to be careful with the RIAA, I think is what it's called. The people are to go, <laughs> go out into the world and sue you for... Uh, because you're uh, you're uh, playing copyrighted music, but do it the right way. Um, but make sure you have some sort of music playing in your clubhouse, or some sort of music playing in your models, some sort of music potentially playing in your corporate offices. Every corporate office I've ever worked in has no noise, even if you put white noise in there. I think it's a good thing. Smell. Interesting experiment in the book. They put citrus smells on a train, and the trash that was left behind went down by 10x. They put uh, citrus smells in an, another uh, area or another space, and the the uh, and they gave people a bunch of cookies to eat, and the the amount of crumbs that were left behind went down by two times or three times. It's interesting. So the the uh, smell of citrus, if you're trying to keep an office clean, might be a good thing. Um, Interesting experiment as it relates to feeling. Somebody uh, was interacting with a, a student or somebody uh, and had a hot cup of coffee in their hand and they asked them to hold the, the cup of coffee while they were recording some information. Um, same scenario, but with a cold ice cup, uh, or a cold uh, ice drink, they asked, can you hand hold the drink? And they took it. Later on, those uh, people who took the cup from the person or asked to describe that person. The one that held the hot cup said that person was warm and generous and giving. The person who held the cold cup described the person that handed it to him as cold and void and unapproachable and disarming. <laughs> and so touch as it relates to temperature is really important. So when you're in uh, a model and if you have that Wow fridge. I'm wondering if the wow fridge is as effective as we think it is when you hold somebody a cold can versus a warm drink and how that relates to a buying decision. <coughs> Disney. It's interesting at Disney, you will never see a character out of costume, right? If, uh, if Mickey Mouse or Snow White are running around, you're not going to see them with their head off or their costume off talking on a cell phone or chewing a piece of gum. It all matters. All those things as it relates to our sight of those particular details matters. Even if we don't recognize it here, we recognize it subconsciously. 
Last story, energy company, uh, a lot of the supervisors were running around the organization really frustrated because people wouldn't get things done or wouldn't do things that they asked them to. And they correlated that back to every one of those supervisors had as a screensaver on their computer the stock price, the current day stock price in their company. And during that particular moment in time, their stock price kept going down, 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 and couldn't realize why, or they couldn't recognize why they were frustrated. It was frustrated because they were looking at it all the time, and that was always in their mind instead of looking for solutions to better the business. So all of those things, I think, are applicable. The stories themselves have lessons in them that are applicable to the multifamily space, and hopefully you can walk away from this video with several things to do. Or if you're listening to the podcast, you've heard some things that you can do. Take care. We'll talk to you again soon.